in the uh, porta potty. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we don't dump it on the ground. We're not going to do that. We're not dumping anything in the water here. Um, and how many people do you think are using these bathrooms on a daily basis? Um, um, Quite a few. It, it, yeah, at least probably the weekends are 40 different people because we open them during the day and everybody's on the path, walks through and whether it be the, you know, the kids from school or, or just anybody, bike riders, need to use restroom, they're available. Um, we're not we're not locking them up from the public. They're available at any time. Anybody, you know, they want to use it, they can. They're more than welcome. And so you, and it's been difficult. I mean, we've had to work a lot with uh, Honey Bucket in order to yeah. keep these bathrooms. They've been very generous and very kind, um, but they are losing their patience. So we, we really need to uh, step it up. We've got to get those donations. And a couple of dollars, a dollar, I mean, five dollars. It's, it's all, right. it's all needed. It's all, and we, we appreciate every cent. Right, and one thing Honey Bucket recommended was that we need more because right now they're so overused right. because right. we only have two for this whole right. camp. And uh, one more, two more would be ideal. Um, one more would kind of work. It'd still be, uh, you know, it'd still be, we'd be pushing it. But two ideally would be perfect. Yeah, more. two. And, and, and another hand washing station as well. And also, right, we have, right now the city's, issue that they have a proposed preliminary injunction so they want to move about half of the people from over here right. over to that side of the road yeah. where there are no bathrooms and we're going to have to have bathrooms down there yeah. as well yeah and we're, we're, they're, we're sharing with them because uh sprouts they did, sprouts not going to have it they've been going to sprouts and, and you know they get treated a different kind of way than any other shop right all the bathrooms in that shopping center are locked yeah um, and they go in and these people that use the ones of sprouts like they live here on the path they go and actually buy something so they're paying customers but they still get treated differently. Yeah, that's right. And it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of shitty. That is what it is. Yeah, and so we need to have, we need, we just need, we need to double, triple, I mean, we need bathrooms. Yeah. The more the better, it really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't want to see that uh, people defecate or urinate. And, you know, yeah, exactly. Other than the rest of you. Right, and so we need to get, uh, so people can donate more and we can get some, uh, get some more bathrooms going Absolutely. Um, so there's an allotment the county can expend so much feasible dollars for right they don't for bathrooms they don't spend any money on bathrooms it's all been privately funded you know and, and the city's not come down doing our garbage anymore either we've got actually a company that donates their time and truck and trailer and that come and does the trash for us and that is just super we're it's making it right so it's like we're kind of making we're just making do yeah by by the skin of our teeth yeah with Honestly. what we, yeah and we've been able Literally. to make it this far yeah now we have we're gonna have everybody's gonna be a little more spread out on the trail and we're gonna yeah. need more bathrooms yeah um point blank period well all right well thanks jeff thanks for thank you i'm sorry i couldn't it's kind of busy. You know, it's yeah. like this every day. Yeah, yeah, right. Up, you do. Up, up, up at dawn and done at dark usually, and then never done actually. Yeah, right. There's a lot of work to be done. It is. All right. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate everybody. Thank you very Thanks. much.